Archive.org is an internet tool that allows a user to search for information in a digitized form. It enables the viewers access to websites, software, music, videos, images, and texts. Let's go ahead and explore some of the features offered here. We'll start by doing a basic search here in the middle and we'll do an unfortunate sad moment in history, the Sandy Hook shootings. When we click that and then click go, it's going to take us to a whole bunch of resources. And I can see that it offers me 75 results. And if I look down a little bit, I can see that I have movies, audio, and text available to me. If I click on one of these, it's going to go ahead and show me a video clip of that time. I can scroll down. It's going to give me topics associated with it, as well as some information about what I'm going to see in this video. And if I really want to, after viewing it, I'd like to download it, I can go ahead and download this for future use. If I'd rather not search by topic, but I'd rather search by resource, I can do that as well. Over here, I'm offered the ability to search by text, video, audio, software, images, and of course, where we were before with the web. If I go ahead and click on audio, I'm offered all of these different features, top choices that people look at. I think old time radio is pretty cool, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I have access to quite a bit of information here. I have old gun smoke radio shows I could listen to. I could click on one, click play, and I'm offered old episodes. Pretty neat feature. And as I said, this option is available in all different forms. Now, if I wanted to search their top collections, I could simply just scroll down and it's going to give me a list of the ones that people most frequently look at. So I can scroll, see if there's anything I'm interested in. Maybe I really want to see some old microfilm. It offers me different avenues I could look at. And again, I can look, decide if I like it, if it's something I want, if I want to download it, I have that option. One other really cool feature of archive.org is the Wayback Machine. If I know a particular URL that I want to search, I can go ahead and type that in and I can see the history of this site. So I can see that I have some captured images from 1996 all the way through 2015. Essentially what this application does is it provides a snapshot of past internet sites. If I want to see what it looked like in 1996, I can click here. You can see there's not a lot captured, but if I scroll down, there is a couple of dates that are offered to me. I can click. It will think, and here's what MSN looked like back in 1996. If I want to bring that up to a more recent time, let's say mm, 2005, I can go ahead and click on the bar. You can see that MSN had this as their page for people to do searches. Very cool. I can keep moving forward until I get a different range of dates. And I can bring it. And if it's not going to, it tells me to be patient. It won't redirect me. Or I can go back and find a more frequent date. And here we are on April 1st, 2014. We can see all of the changes MSN has done over time from a basically text-based type image to pictures and text images. As you can see, if you are looking for archived information, this is the place to go. Archive.org offers you the past at your fingertips.